and welcome back to the Turdford channel. All right, today's video is actually on formula mass and formula mass and molecular mass, and they're basically how to do the same thing. And before we start doing a chapter on moly moly moly, we've got to try and figure out how to do these formula and molecular masses. To do them is not that hard. You just look at your formula like this one, CHCl3. And I'm going to look at the problem. And here's definitions if you need to copy down anything there. You need to copy anything down. There it is. Pause. All right. And back. So I'm going to work on another sheet of paper, though. So I'm going to pull these notes off to the side. So if I've got a compound like C, whoo, I cannot write, can I? CHCl3. It takes a second for my Sharpie to warm up. I'm going to go through and I'm going to list these C, H, and C, L, just like this. Now, at this point, I'm going to go to my periodic table and I'm going to look up the mass of carbon. Well, carbon weighs 12, and there's only one carbon in this compound. So I'm going to go 12 times 1 is 12. Hydrogen weighs 1 times, well, there's one hydrogen in this compound that we've got right here. So there's 1 times 1 is one so far this is fabulous and then chlorine chlorine has a mass of 35 times and if you take a look chlorine there's three of those so 35 times three is what we've actually got in the case of this one all right so now 35 times three would be 90 and 15 so that's 105 and now all i'm going to do to get the answer is just add this up so five six seven eight so there's 8, 1, and 1. Sometimes my math ain't the greatest in the world. Anyway, so there's all we're going to do. All right. Now, a formula mass, in theory, is for when something is on it. But, you know, it works the exact same way. So how much does this compound weigh? NH42SO4. Well, let's work an example just to make sure you know what you're doing here. So NH42 and then it was SO4. So this is ammonium sulfate that we're working with here. So ammonium sulfate, just list your elements. So we've got N, H, S, and O. So now we can come back through here and start working this out. Nitrogen weighs 14 times. There are two nitrogens, because this means two times one. So times two nitrogens is 28. Hydrogen, we've got... It weighs one times, times, I cannot talk. Two times four is eight. So there's eight. So this would be one times eight. Sulfur weighs 32 times one is 32. Oxygen weighs 16 times four in the case of this one. And that's 64. And now we can go through and just add up those totals and see what we get. 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 28 means my total is 132. And in terms of a unit, it depends on your teacher. You may get to write AMU for a unit. They may want you to write 132U. Uh, they may want you to write 132 grams per mole. Which reality of it is, this is the one that's so important. Because you can't do anything with moles if you cannot do this. And a bunch of these are so common, you'll get used to them before long. But anyway, so this is how you do formula mass and molecular mass. They're, it's the exact same thing. It's just theoretically, one's for covalent, one's for ionic. But the process is the exact same. So you got this. And in the next video, we'll actually take a look and go back and we'll start doing calculations using moles. So I can kind of describe.